Hello everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome back to the Retro Future. Today we're going to be taking a look at a bunch of Japanese exclusive accessories. I bought these on Yahoo Auctions using Sendico as a proxy service. I'll leave a link down below if you want to check them out, but this video is not sponsored. Um, but I'm very excited by all of these things because they look really cool and I've never seen them before. So, without any further ado, let's take a look at them. So the first one we're going to look at is this one. So what is this? Well, it's a DS card house. <laughs> this idea is so cute. I've actually got two of these. The other one I am using. I opened it immediately because it's so cute. And they are actually slightly different. Snoopy is different. So if you had a load of DS cartridges, uh, you probably could have just, well, you obviously could have bought a bunch of these and uh, they're all in different designs. So this is made by Tommy or Tommy, however you say it, but it is obviously licensed by Nintendo because it uses the Nintendo DS logos um, all over the box and stuff. So it is an official product, which means it must be built to a fairly high standard, which I can confirm it is very nice. On the back, you've got a bunch of little designs. Unfortunately, Snoopy's hole for uh, where he sits on the top of the house is in a, quite an unfortunate location. But yeah, let's take a look at it. I've got one right here, as I said. So it's a very basic little item. As I said, it is a nice high quality and it's a very cute little thing, but um, there's not really a lot to it. So there's slots for five uh, DS cartridges on the bottom. As you can see, I've got four in there at the moment just to demonstrate how they all go in. They're not like tight in there, which is a good thing, I think, because they're gonna be secure, um, but they're not like gonna damage your cartridge or anything like that. And then you've got another one just under here. So that's a cool little way to look after five games and they just stack on top of each other and have little holes to keep the uh, thing together. But yeah, that is the Snoopy DS card holder. Let me know if you had one of those. I've never, ever seen it before. Um, Snoopy's built to a really high quality as well. He feels really good. So there is the little Snoopy DS card holder. Now, in the same theme, I've also got here the DS card pod two in one, which again is not something I've ever seen. But what really intrigued me about it is it looks a lot like a little Zippo and uh, my younger self would be very fascinated with this. So it does look like it's actually been opened before. This is actually also licensed by Nintendo as well. Um, again, never heard of this little thing. There it is. Nothing else inside the packaging. And uh, it's just a tiny little sort of fake Zippo which holds DS cartridges. Could you imagine if there were some DS cartridges in there? Um, but it's a really nice little thing. Sometimes I don't really wanna carry a bunch of uh, DS games in my pocket or at least have a big case which carries them all. There's actually a spring in this hinge piece which is flipping it up like a Zippo. There's definitely some inspiration there, but what a cool little thing. I mean, that is the perfect way to carry around a couple games. You can bring three games with you, um, including the one in your DS, and it's a nice small little form factor. But yeah, that is the little DS card pod, two in one. Which one do I prefer? Probably this one. I like the spring. So next up, let's take a look at these two things and we'll save the best one till the end. So these are two, again, Japanese exclusive um, accessories. This is a headset for your Nintendo DS. Now, I was trying to find out what games would actually require this, um, but apparently there's a Pokemon game that you played with like a team of people and you could talk to each other, which is obviously a very cool thing. Um, right, this isn't coming out, that's annoying. Come on. What was holding that in there? Okay, here it is. So, very Xbox style, one earpiece. What a bizarre thing. I just don't know why this was needed. Um, obviously you've got a microphone already in the Nintendo DS, it's right there, and you've also got the speakers, um, but maybe this just gave you a better sounding quality. It'd be interesting if I could try and record something on this. To, uh, if I can, I'll play that now. Hi team, it's Pokemon Catcher, 44 Charizard Slayer here, let's go catch ourselves a dig dug. <laughs> but yeah, you can see there, it just sits on your ear, highly uncomfortable. Um, and then it slots into the bottom there. Um, and that is the first time I think I've ever seen that second part of the slot actually ever be used. So that must be for the microphone or some power or something, I don't know. But anyway, there we go, that is it. What a weird thing, I never knew that existed. Now the next piece is actually a lot nicer and this is something I will definitely be using immediately. Um, so this is a DS stand and it's a really, really nice thing. I did get this out before because I was super excited to try it out. Um, there are manuals in those boxes, but they're in Japanese, so I'm not gonna be able to read them. But this is the DS stand. Now this is something 
that I feel like would have been really cool to have included in the DS box, like they did with the 3DS. Now I'm trying to remember how I opened it because I don't remember struggling with this before. Oh, okay, there is actually a little lever on the bottom. You press it down and then it opens up. Uh, you've got two rubber feet here, which obviously are gonna hold it down. Wow. This little metal bar, kind of like a deck chair, slots into either one of these grooves. I was trying to figure out if there was more of a mechanism to this, but it actually just looks like it's these weights to hold it down and make it nice and steady. So there isn't anything else going on inside here. Um, so we can set that like that. You have to take out your little cartridge slot. Um, but then you slide it in and Bob's your uncle. Look at that. It's kind of a cool way to display your DS. It must have had some other actual uses like, I don't know, being sold alongside of the cooking game which you had on your kitchen counter and you're making your salad. So yeah, it's a really cool little thing. Very high quality, very Nintendo, very nice. I like it, I'll take 10. So the final accessory is just the most Japanese thing ever. I love it. This is a Dragon Quest slime. Now, do you remember seeing the PlayStation Dragon Quest controller? I remember Kevin Kenson making a video about it and seeing it and thinking, I want one. And then I saw this for the Nintendo DS and I think this is equally amazing. So, we must remove the ginormous slime, which on its own is a lovely thing to have on your shelf. And it's this really nice, soft, plushy fabric. I don't even know, it's like memory foam. It's so nice. Okay, and then in this bottom part, we have another piece. There we go. So this is the final piece to the whole puzzle. Doesn't look like much. It's not, it's just a piece of plastic. You set it down. I think this is actually made for the DSi, so there is actually a bit of wiggle room in there, but there is some uh, rubber sort of things there just to hold it in a bit more snug and not damage your console, but it'll work perfectly fine with the DS Lite and the 3DS. Just thought I'd let you know. Um, so this little piece right here cranks up like that, and then we slide in Oh, wait a minute. Now it all makes sense. We slide in this piece like that, and then you can have sort of different angles. You set your DS in there, and it's a stand. A slime stand. There is actually another function. I just thought that'd be hilarious if that was all it was. Round the back is a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and it's on one of those sort of uh, like retractable things that you get your keyring on and stuff, and it's on like a clutch mechanism. So like that, it's now um, it's now out. But then if you pull it out, it will go back in. So we plug that into the bottom of the DS. We then sweep that round to the front. We can lift it up like that, and then there's an on switch. And I haven't put batteries in it. Good. Right now, I was looking on the instructions to see if there's a way to turn it up. There isn't. So it's literally this, and I'll, let me just play you Animal Crossing with and without the ginormous slime stand speaker. I mean, it, it does obviously add a little bit of uh, volume to it. Here we go. Okay, now let me just uh, unplug that. I mean, it obviously is making it a tiny bit louder, but it's only a tiny bit louder. It's really not that substantial, but it does look phenomenal. I mean, just look at that. Now you can rock up to your house parties with this and play some Animal Crossing music. Who's ready for some tunes? That is going to wrap it up for this video. I really hope you have enjoyed. Leave a comment down below if you want to see some more uh, weird Japanese accessory videos. There's plenty of other strange accessories out there. Leave a like and subscribe if you're new and uh, I'll catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.